there, it's Krista from North Shore Proactive Health. Today I want to talk to you about cervical range of motion. So there's three main directions that I like to kind of talk about with people, and this I consider active range of motion. So it's not like the stretches where you hold it for 30 seconds. I roughly like to complete these two sets of 10. You do not have to do all 20 one time, like if you do 10 in the morning, 10 at night, that's totally fine to break it up throughout the day. Cervical exercises are easy to do throughout the day because you can sit literally anywhere. Again, watching TV, driving, you know, sitting on the couch, somewhere at work, um, again, just be able to move around and that will be beneficial. So the first one I like to do is side bending. So again, you're sitting up nice and tall or standing if you would like, like again, doing dishes or something. I would like you to bring your ear to your shoulder roughly to where you feel again, where it's meant to go. Trying to force it to bring it to your ear to your shoulder as much as possible, that's just gonna cause more discomfort and nothing should cause issues. You'll let your neck go to where it can go. Hold for about one to two seconds, bring it up to the center, and then go back to the same side again. I recommend doing one side at a time because sometimes people, if they go back and forth too much and too quickly, they may get dizzy. And there's, I don't want to add any more issues to anything else for anybody. So again, bringing one ear to the shoulder as far as you can comfortably for a round of 10, and then you like to switch. If you would like to do all 20 at one time, go for it, absolutely. By the 20th one, you should feel a little bit looser and farther. The more often you do these exercises, you should notice increased range of motion, um, the more often you do it. Second one I call is rotation. So you're going to literally just look to your shoulder as far as you can comfortably, hold for about a second or two, bring it back to the center, and then repeat. Again, I like to do focus on one side at a time, because again, if you go back and forth too quickly, you may end up getting dizzy. Third one I like to call are retractions or double chins or turkey chin. So I'm gonna turn actually sideways. So when you do these, you wanna make sure you're facing nice and straight. The point of this is to bring your chin back. So you kinda wanna make this ugly thing that no one likes to do. Um, I do recommend doing these in the mirror so you can see yourself. When you do these, I want to make sure you're always looking straight. If you all of a sudden start looking at the ceiling or the floor, you're tilting your head too much, and you always should be facing straight. When I also do these with people, making sure that you don't have to go forward to like get more oomph to get back. That's just more work than you need to do. And then what happens is you're really working strengthening the back muscles here to hold up your own head for posture. This is the one exercise that I say, if it feels uncomfortable, then don't go about worrying about going 100% all the way to the back, because you're not used to doing that motion, that's fine. Maybe you go like 50%, and then as you get more comfortable, you'll be able to do more reps. Now things should cause pain, you should be able to feel like a good, nice stretch and increased range of motion. If there's ever an issue, let us know. We always can talk to Dr. J or Dr. Jordan to set up a consultation or to go over these exercises. Um, you always can give me a call, 847-362-4476. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.